Everyone here with the international LGBT news headlines from Pink 60. At 1am yesterday, 49 winged angels surrounded the Pulse nightclub in Orlando for a vigil in memory of those killed a year ago. The angels first appeared in the aftermath to the tragedy, protecting mourners from the Westboro Baptist Church's hateful protests. US politicians tweeted online to mark the massacre's anniversary. President Trump, just back from agreeing America's biggest ever arms deal to the Middle East, said we will never forget the victims. Brazilian officials report that a transgender woman was found with multiple gunshot wounds on a desolate street in the city of Salvador on Sunday morning. The unidentified victim was alive when she was first discovered but died at the scene. CNN reports at least 32 men have been arrested for being gay while serving in the South Korean army. All males must serve around two years conscription, but homosexuality is illegal in the military, punishable with two years jail. And finally, politics was the focus of many of the speeches during the Tony Awards on Sunday night. Cynthia Nixon and Laurie Metcalf both took home trophies, and Bette Midler also won with her revival of the musical Hello Dolly. Well, that's all from us for today. Join us again tomorrow for more of the latest LGBT news headlines. And you can find out more about these and other news stories by searching for hashtag Pink60 on social media.